Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Here's the setup. There's the laser pointer. I'm using this yellow plastic as a sort of like a half mirror. It's bouncing through there, through that mirror, back here, over to this mirror, and then up to the receiver, which you can hear it kind of echo. That's how sensitive it is. In other, in other words, my voice. I'll move that closer to the receiver. My voice is being picked up by this piece of plastic. Hello, testing one, two, three. Hello, oops. I must have moved something. It's still pretty sensitive. Testing one, two, three. Hello. Testing one, two, three. After I experimented the first time with this setup, I Googled it on uh, the web and found lots of information about using a laser pointer as a interferometer, and I didn't think it was going to be an original idea, but it did work very well. And what I used here is a basically a $19 laser. They might be cheaper now. And it's going through this yellow plastic on the right that I bought at a hobby shop. And you could uh, actually use the clear plastic on a CD cover. will work also. Now on the far side of this plastic I am not using the reflection which uh, normally would be used in a interferometer. But I'm letting that pass through. And here's the next part of the picture. As that laser passes through, it hits the mirror, and I'm raising up the beam because it's actually upon itself, so you wouldn't be able to see it if I did that, so I'm raising it up just a little bit so you can see it. But it is upon itself, and the reflection on this side of the yellow plastic is what I'm using. And of course, there's a lot of energy that passes through, but I'm using the reflection. That's going up to the mirror up here, and I've got it aimed at the receiver over here. And notice that I've got it on some bubble wrap. I was trying to uh, isolate the receiver as much as possible, but it still is so sensitive that it uh, feeds back pretty easily. It's amazing how sensitive uh, these sound 
uh, interferometers are. You can bounce these off a lot of items and uh, get some pretty good quality sound out of them. And if you use an infrared laser, you can't even see it. I've got this tuned up again and that what sounds like an echo that's being picked up by this piece of plastic bounced over to this mirror and back up here so from the laser pointer through the piece of plastic to this mirror back to the piece of plastic uh, uh, bounced right back to the same spot the reflection up to this mirror from this mirror up to the receiver I'm set the mic down <laughs> Far and start feedback. So you can use a laser pointer to make an interferometer. 